Hello guys. Um, I noticed in my library I had some games that didn't have any description and I only found out by accident. So I was in need of a way to to see if to talk to see the games that have no description. So I took uh, Darkling Powers UE from game uh, Game Media Tools and modified it so it's a separate uh, plugin, separate extension, separate plugin. And now I can select, uh, for example, it allows to select all games in database or, or uh, your, your current selected games, and then a field, for example, uh, description. And then you can say, tag all games which have the field missing or where the Boolean value is false or which have the field filled in or where the boolean value is true so in the case of description if i want to know all games that don't have a description i just select description and say tag all games that don't have description set and now those games are tagged and you can use the the tag filter to select those to view those games so no field description and now i can see all my games back for truck racing championship no as you can see here and then you can basically uh, let me check if I can find a good one. Yeah. Star Ocean, then you the can last hope international. To update the metadata. And um, yeah, update the description before it didn't. Uh, I didn't know about it, so no, there is no that. There is no game description. So let me try Steam Store. So basically you can use it to to first tag your games and then you can try to find some metadata or add metadata manually uh, for the game. So you see now I have the metadata and it's filled in. And then you can update the tags again using the same plugin. So you select the same field, missing fields, update tags and the game is now removed out of the section right, as the tag removed uh, I added also other fields for example if you can't remember where you put notes on a game you, you just select notes and then say has fields, update tags and it seems I have seven games where I had a note set and then you can view all the games here now which have Venture notes kit. set uh, Brigadier up armored edition. It's, all the, Tropico it's always 5. the same uh, note with me. Call of Duty. But that's because I Black Ops it 4. To my phone also. Sheltered. In some different application. Uh, I also added. Uh, oh, sorry. I also added um, other fields. I'm not sure if all fields are usable. I mean, if they are, if they are, have some need or not. But for example, if you want to know which games have manual sets, you can also select manual, select as fields, update tax. And it seems I have one game that has a manual set. And then you can go to the manual, as manual. And there it seems. Enduro ah, Racer. Yeah. Here is my manual game. You can see it also here. Uh, advanced manual. Ah, yeah, I have one set. And I can open my manual. As you can see. Um, you can also use the same plugin to remove all the tags again. So basically you select a field which you want to remove the tags from. Let's say I don't want to see the manual tags anymore. Then you select the manual and then you select the remove tags option. Update tags and it will remove all the tags from the, from the game and from the database. Only if it managed to erase all tags from the games. So you can see there is no field, there is no as field uh, manual anymore. Um, I also added uh, tiny robots. Some for the filters for the scripts, because there is no way where you can see if you provided the game specific script. So let's say some script here. 
uh, which one is it starting a game let me use before a game is started so it still says execute global script but I entered some things so if I do uh, now the same plugin but now prescript as fields ah it's the wrong one it's not prescript it's game started script is it updating? No, I didn't click yeah it's game started script and then you can go to again to the tag as field game started and there you see the game and then you, you will be able to see all your games where you have a, a specific script set now in this case uh, the script is not enabled because it still says to execute a global script but at least you can find the games where, uh, where you have a script set or if you have some games which really execute a, a game specific script the, like this, some script you can also search on the, on the checkbox so in this case it would be let me first remove the tags So it was game started script, remove tax. And now you can also say use global game started script is the is a checkbox. And then you can say has fields, which will check for Boolean value true, which means the, the field is uh, checked. Ah it's the other way around. Let me remove them. The, the, the boolean value says to use the global script so you have to search for uh, missing fields so boolean value false and then then you have the game specific uh, uh, then you have the games where the the checkbox has been unchecked so it's using the game specific uh, the game specific script so it's the same tiny game, robots but now it's based on on this checkbox uh, if you want to know what all the fields mean here you have to go to the play night uh, site so you go to play night and there you choose for SDK you go to API documentation, you type game here you select game and you can look up the fields here for example uh, uh, use global use global game script, start the script and there there will be some info what, what they are and how you can use them um, I also added the version field because yeah you can here you can only search for uh, where is the version field oh, yeah. you can also only search for specific text but you cannot say show me all games that have a version set so now you can do tiny robots this. okay now you can do a search all games show me all games that have a version set, for example, like this. You select version, missing fields, no, has fields, yes, update tax, and seems I don't have any. So let me put a version here. Version, version, version. Is it now advanced? No, I no, I hear version, uh, explorer version, or whatever. So if I do it again now, it should find it. Uh, version, as fields, update tax, one game found, yeah, and it's the same game. So if I select the uh, tag as version, it will select it and then you can view all the games which have a version set and modify them or verify them so it's easy 
Uh, it doesn't auto update every time you change anything or a batch of games. Uh, you have to re, uh, re execute the tagging system to update the tags. So, yeah. Um, you can also do it for the selected games for if you want to do it for any reason. Basically, uh, what you do then is you. You select a few Wallace games, and Gromit's and Grand Adventures, you select games, Episode you 4, only do it The for Pokemon. Those games. Oh, verify only those games. Uh, so it's a very simple plugin, that's basically all what it does. And I put a, a few fields, I did not put all fields, because in most filter presets here, you can choose already none, or um, to find your games that have, not, that have no, no such data set. Or you can select all the other fields to view all the fields that have data set. So it makes no sense to add tags for those games, it's only for fields that are not put in the filter system already. So, uh, and the most important one I think is the the one without, the one for finding this games without description set. So yeah, that was the, the new plugin uh, for Playnight, Fields Tagger. I will release it soon. I still have to upload it uh, and prepare it for upload on GitHub and uh, release it in the add-on browser. Hope you like it. Until next time.